I... I can't believe the sun banished two of my moons out of the solar system. Me neither! Why didn't you help them, Jupiter? I wanted to, but... Haven't you ever made a mistake? Something you wish you could take back? I have made mistakes. All of that is in the past, and you know it! Yeah, in the past. Oh, I wouldn't be so sure, Jupiter. Are you okay? Yeah, Europa. Fantastic. Hey, we'll be okay. Okay? Europa, we've been banished from the solar system! We can't come back, and Jupiter, he's our planet and refused to help us. Ganymede, he's probably... Probably what? Tell me, what? Stop interrupting me. Say it. Just say it. I'm not gonna say it. Come on, we both know you want to. Just say it. What in the universe were you thinking? Talking to the sun like that? Insulting him to his face? What are you, insane? He deserved it. He's the sun. Do you think he's untouchable just because he's a couple th thousand times larger than me? More like 18.5 million times larger than you, Ganymede. Wait, really? In terms of volume, yeah. Well, well, why are we arguing amongst ourselves again? I don't know. Ah! Dude, what? Who are you, exactly? Maki Maki! Designation, Dwarf Planet. Oh, you must be a friend of Pluto and Sharon. Indeed! Let me take you to them. Wait, what? Might as well, right? Mercury, Venus, uh, good job with the defense of the planets. Thanks. Doesn't feel like a victory, though. Poor Jupiter. Poor Jupiter! He has like a hundred other moons! Venus, no offense, but you don't have a moon, so you don't know what it's like! Hey! Low blow Earth! I said no offense! What's on your mind, Mars? I, I don't know why, but I feel like Jupiter's hiding something. Okay, my time to roll the dice! Hey yeah! A one? Bad luck, Pluto. <clears throat> Out of nowhere, Sir Pluton is attacked by Yo. you. Whoa! What? Why? Aren't you the moons that led the moon revolution? Yeah, and you're the dwarf planet who made everyone turn against us. Wait, you two know each other? Are, are you here for revenge? Ha, you wish. No, we were just banished from the solar system. Wait, really? Yep. There was a whole solar system trial, which, ironically, was our idea. And the conclusion was a happy ending for everyone. Except us. Wow! Two moons forced to wander the universe alone like lost souls! I'll definitely use this idea for the villains of my next campaign! Anyways, we can't stay here for much longer. The sun will solar flare us to death, so... Wait! Uh, no, we don't want to join your dorky game. No, it's something else. You see, since you are leaving the solar system, I want you to help me with some research. Research? Dude, we don't have time You for... will not regret it. It's regarding a long-lost planet. Wait, what? There is a theory, one not many know of, and it could be totally wrong, but still, it is believed that way past the Kyber Belt, there is one more secret planet in the solar system. We refer to it as Planet X. Are you serious right now? Another planet? Not only a planet, a huge one! Maybe the size of Neptune or Uranus. What? How could something so massive be completely ignored by literally everyone? How did the Earthlings discover Neptune? Huh? Well, back in the 19th century, it was believed that Uranus was the last planet of the solar system. However, a space anomaly indicated that there was indeed another celestial body after Uranus. Space anomaly? Gravity! The strangest anomaly of all! The orbits of several Kuiper Belt objects were affected by something quite big. And by doing some math, the Earthlings detected where the gravity came from and pinpointed Neptune's location in the blink of an eye. Okay. 
So how does this relate to your theory? Wait, you don't mean... Indeed, Sharon. The strange gravity effects we felt could be this Planet X. And you want us to find it? Oh, yes. Pretty please. Why don't you go find it? Oof. Getting out of the Kuiper Belt? No, thanks. What if we stop feeling the sun's gravity and we end up lost in space like a couple of weird exoplanets? But it's different for you two since you've been kicked out either way. No offense. Some taken. Let's do it. What? Why? I just have a feeling. Well, that's not vague at all. Look, remember when Jupiter said he was afraid that something from his past might return? What if this is it? Planet X? Jupiter? Really? Yes. What do you say? Point us the way, Maki Maki. Hey, Jupiter. Everything okay? What do you... think of me, Mars? That's a strange question. Just tell me. Honestly, I look up to you. We all do. You're smart, you've always been super supportive to everyone, and you're just a... good role model. Why do you ask? Just wondering. Jupiter, I can tell something's up. I just feel like... Like something is finally catching up with me. Catching up? What are you talking about? Listen, I think it's time to tell all of you that I... That you are sad because you lost two of your moons! N no, I... A word, Jupiter! Pull yourself together! What can I do, Saturn? It's eating me alive. Nobody will understand, okay? Nobody remembers how things used to be. I... I don't want to see you get hurt. I... I don't know what to do. Maybe I can help Ganymede and Europa if I... If the Sun banished your moons for attacking some of the rocky planets, imagine what he'll do to you if he finds out what you did! Okay. I'll think about it. I still hope I can help our moons. I wonder if they're okay. Here we are, the outer edge of the Kuiper Belt. I... don't see anything. Yep, that's space for ya. I mean, are you sure we will find this Planet X if we keep moving straight ahead? I don't think we'll need to. Why? Because... I'm starting to feel its gravity. Oh, this is so cool! Anyways, good luck! Hope you don't die! I'm sorry... for... causing all of this. I'm sorry for venting. It's not your fault. But if I'd kept my mouth shut... Then I would have given the sun a piece of my core. We're a team, Ganymede. For better or worse. For better or worse. Thanks for watching, guys.